thing we can do as a community and the whole purpose we have decided to go down to the level of the county is as a community we need to feel we are we are with others we are in partnership with us because many people many cases of people who are dying by suicide is people who feel isolated they are alone they don't have anyone to rely with they don't have anyone to speak with they don't have that family connection is no longer there that community knowing i have i can go talk to someone when i have a problem another thing is decriminalizing suicide so that people can speak up because the more everybody knows it's a criminal offense when i go talk to someone about suicide ideation and even suicide attempt i know i will end up in jail so that that law needs to be it needs to be criminalized for people to speak up another part is the more conversation we have around mental health the more we talk about and communicate it is okay not to be okay it is okay to speak up when you're feeling you're not okay that's where the conversation is to start at the community even as you are coming also the, the whole of month even as you're going into the month of october is the mental health month so that is why now today is marked as the one of it and also uh, where now right now we we'll go every county Kenyans are speaking about it is because of the rising cases of suicide we have witnessed in the last couple of years. How you feel right now? You're not going to feel it the next what one hour, two hours, three hours. So just be kind to yourself and if you feel that way, uh, seek help. There's no shame in asking for help. There's no shame in going to see a therapist, a psychiatrist. There's no shame in that. It's just like any other condition, honestly. If you're sick with malaria, you go to the hospital. And being suicidal, it's okay, but just be kind to yourself. There's so much more to live for, you know? Feelings are temporary. How you feel right now, you're not going to feel it again. So just be kind and be patient with yourself. And I started uh, documenting my experiences, my what I go through as a person who um, has gone through that and is still going through that. So that I show people that it, there's hope, you know? It, it, it gets better, trust me. But you have to put that work. You have to work for it. You know, they say you can't really get something if you don't want it. You have to want to, to heal. You have to want to be okay. And for you to actually go, get on that journey, you know. So I get plenty, I get plenty of, um, of messages. And I'm so happy that people are talking and are conversing, like holding those conversations, both men and women, and I am so happy that as a society we've gotten to that point where we can openly talk about stuff and not feel any type of embarrassment, you know? Nafikia sana kununua dawa ya sumu kwa kutoka kwa magrovet na pia wanatumia kitanzi. So uh, wakuna wale wanajaribu, anajaribu kwa kujanika kwenye ka, kamuti kadogo ndio ikiwe 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 ikibeba iki weight anakanyaga chini. Sasa hiyo alikuwa anajaribu na alikuwa anajaribu watu waone kwamba ako stress. Sasa hizo ni nyingi. Na kuna wale ambao tumeona wananunua hiyo dawa, then anakuja anamwaga mwaga kwenye nyumba yake na anajaribu kujimwagia kwenye nguo. Na anakunywa kadogo ndio watu wakinuza breaths wanasikia kweli amejaribu kunywa so hizo cases pia ndio zinasema zimekuwa nyingi ambayo inaitwa suicide attempt ile inaitwa suicidal attempt ile kujaribu zilikuwa zimeenda juu zilikuwa zimeenda juu toka mambo ya siasa yaanze na toka mambo ya Ukraine hii hii maisha kuwa magumu Ma, uh, mambo ya chakula kuwa zipatikani eh, eh, chakula zimeenda juu sana hiyo tena ikachangia watu kujaribu 